This video is in the chapter of determinants. We have been seeing some properties. In the previous video we saw that the determinant change sign when two rows or two columns are exchanged and we and we also saw that determinant of the identity for any n dimension will be one. We are going to see now a geometrical application of the determinant. We can use the determinant to find the volume of a box. So the volume of an n-dimensional box, we usually think of a box as a three-dimensional object, okay, but we are calling box the product of sides uh, in any n-dimensional space. So the volume of an n-dimensional box is the determinant of A where the edges, of course, of the box are the rows of A. Okay, I'm going to see you. Uh, I'm going to to show one or two uh, very practical examples. Let us see an example in R3 to say we have uh, vectors U, uh, 2, 5, 2, Okay, so the, the sides will be these vectors, given by these vectors. 2, 5, 2, 4, 2, 3, and 1, 1, 4. So, we put this in a matrix. 2, 5, 2, 4, 2, 3, and 1, 1, 4. Okay. Now, we evaluate the determinant of A. You can do that using the, the, the previous videos for that. Um, we'll get minus 51. So the volume of this box will be equal to the absolute value of minus 51. So that will be 51. Okay, let us pick a box in R4. Don't ask me how that will be. Uh, so R4, the vectors will have four components, right? We have vector U1, 2, minus 1, 4, minus 3, U2, minus 1, 1, 0, 2, U3, 3, 2, 3, minus 1, and U4, 1, minus 2, 2, 3. So we put all these vectors, 2, minus 1, 4, minus 3, so this vector will be the first row, second row, third row, fourth row. We take the determinant and we get minus 102. So the volume of this four-dimensional box will be 102. So another property of the determinant is the determinant is a linear function of each row. Let us say we have a matrix A. Let us use the first A, B, C, D, uh, the one we were using. So the determinant of A will be A, D minus B, C, right? Okay, now we are going to pick another matrix and we are going to multiply the first row by T. So let us say T, A, T, B, C and D. Okay, so this is the same as the, the first matrix, but the first row is, is multiplied by T. Okay, let us call this one matrix B. So what will the determinant of B be? It will be TA times D minus T, B times C, right? Now, if you look at this, if you factor T, you will have A, D minus B, C, right? So, have a look. A, the determinant is A, D minus B, C, and B, the determinant is A, D minus B, C, multiplied by T, because we multiplied 
by a scalar t uh, this row okay so the determinant is a linear function of each row okay if you multiply this line now by s right the determinant here will be t a s d minus t b s c so we could factor a d minus b c as s t a d minus b c okay so the determinant is a linear function of each row okay let us say we have a matrix 1 plus 2 on the first row, first entry, 3 plus 4, and then 5, 6. And, and then we have two matrices, where the first row will be the first entries here, or the first summons, so 1, 3, 5, 6, and 2, 4, 2, 4, 5, 6. Okay, let us see what is the, let us take the determinant of this matrix, so this will be 3 times 6, 18, 3 plus uh, 4 is 7, times 5, that's 35, so that will be 18 minus 35, we are going to get minus 17, right. Here we will have 6 minus 15, that's minus 9, and here we will have the determinant, right? So let me take the de determinant, okay? And here, um, so the determinant of this one will be 2 times 6, 12, minus 20, that's minus 8, right? So, uh, So adding um, the row, adding this row to this row, we get uh, the same determinant. Okay. So let me uh, I'm going to change this for if this is a b and here c d and this a prime b prime c d. This one will be A plus A prime, right? B plus B prime and C D. Okay? So the determinant is a linear function of each row. Okay? We saw that for the multiplication here, in this case here, here. We saw that for the multiplication determinant. If you multiply one line, one row, by a scalar, the determinant is multiplied by that scalar. And the same goes for um, addition. If you add one row, okay, the determinant will be the same here.